What is up everyone and welcome back to more Dragon Ball. I'm here with my reaction to episode 115. Now I'm filming this right after the last episode so I've fixed my makeup. We had a wee bit of a cry. It was like a realization cry where the dragon is gone and I think um, everyone going back to the house and launch making the extra food you know that was oh, not again <sighs> that was heartbreaking and then tn taking off and everyone being in like panic mode like don't go don't go i don't want to lose anymore and tn basically being like i want to keep you guys safe and obviously yamcha is still very much injured so there's really not too much that he can do right now except protect the mini family <laughs> um, of Balma and the rest of them. Now Goku is feeling much better. He's had a bean. Unfortunately, Yajirobe didn't quite listen and he's had about 20 years worth of the beans. So he is kind of doubled, tripled in size. And I think he's going to have to sleep that off. Um, yeah, hopefully he'll be alright from that, because that'll be a bit awkward when Piccolo is ruling the world. And how did you die? I ate too many beans. Yeah, tell that to the people in heaven, okay? Do you think he'd go to heaven or hell, actually? Probably heaven. I don't think he's that bad, really. So Corrin has this new plan. Apparently there's some other stuff that Goku can drink from. So yeah, we'll find out in today's episode, like... What does that do? What does that mean? And uh, it was interesting because he did say, he's like, there's no more training. Like, it's not as if I gave you half the training, which is what I said. It didn't make any sense that he would do X amount of training under the guise of you can come back and do some more. Because otherwise Roshi would have gone back and he never did. So yeah, I think I was right in that respect. Don't forget if you want to watch this unedited with me, you can do over on my website, suzilu.co.uk or the Patreon, the link for everything you need is in the description. Right, let's go. It's interesting how much he destroyed, but he left the big tower there. You'd think he would go straight after that, wouldn't you? Where's Goku when you need him, man? This is a meal for Goku. He would love this. <laughs> ah! What's the point? Do you really think King Piccolo would ever be satisfied with this slop? You are satisfied with it. Tell the truth. Dishes of newt manure, deep fried eyes, fresh moose pie with dinosaur tongue, and brain pudding. <laughs> You're just taking the piss now, mate. Prepare 111 of each dish within the hour. Huh? Everything must be in order when Sire awakens from his nap. Do you know what? I'd be like, nah, well, that's me. I'm dead. What you're asking for is ridiculously impossible. Do it yourself and we'll see, huh? I forget he sleeps with his eyes open. That's so creepy. Oh. <laughs> Never mind the whole like mm, sleep with one eye open kind of thing. No, no, just keep them both open. Ultra divine? That's right. This water is most certainly divine. But Master Corin, how is it any different than the sacred water I drank a long time ago? And also, if we recall, that was just water. It wasn't the water that made him strong, remember? Ha! But Ultra Divine Water is packed with mystical properties and a magical zing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I believe him. Hey! Come on, Master! Give me some of the Ultra Divine Water! Please, Master! Please! Corrin, have you had some of this water? Some things never change. You're just as hasty as ever. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not realize that Piccolo is destroying the, the world? Water would increase your abilities, that's true. But to enjoy its benefits, you would first have to track it down. 
Uh? You've got to be kidding me. Far to the north, there is a treacherous maze of ice. To obtain the water, you must first navigate through this icy labyrinth. The liquid is hidden somewhere in the cave. I know what he's like. Like, he's a cheeky little kitty cat. He's just making us go out on an adventure that he doesn't want to do. Once inside the labyrinth, it's easy to get lost. You can find yourself wandering aimlessly for weeks or even years. So wait, how do you even know it's true then if nobody has done this? Unless Corin did it. Now that you know the peril involved, what will you do? Do you still wish to seek it? I mean, if that's the only thing that we can do, then we might as well just go do it. You'll go with me, won't you, Yajirobi? Ah! You've got to be kidding. No way. You won't? Of course not. Why in the world would I voluntarily go to such a terrible place? You're crazy. So what are you gonna do then? You're gonna stay up here with a kitty cat? Hey, where are you going? Downstairs. See ya. Well, at least he's not gonna be hungry now for a while. I'm hungry. I could use a snack. The what? How are you hungry? You just had all the beans! <sighs> he's gonna- I wanna see if he sees the future. And I want to know what it is. Nice tasty morsels hidden in there. <laughs> He's just going to see the planet in ruin, right? Decimated. What's that? I can't make it out, but it's cold. Maybe it's ice cream. <laughs> uh, what? And I don't have the Nimbus Cloud with me. How long will it take me to get to the northern part of the world? Karin, there's something wrong with your barrel. If you go... There's one thing you must avoid. Darkness. Darkness? Don't worry. I've never feared the dark before. Maybe that's not what he means, Goku. This darkness is blacker than night. It veils the ultra divine water in illusion so cunning you may never escape its empty void once ensnared. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Corin. Bye. And we got 10 days as well. 10 days of not being hungry. Except Yajirobi. I, I don't understand how he's hungry. I love it though. He's like, oh, what's in this barrel? And what's happened? He's ended up going where he didn't want to go. <laughs> Am I there yet? <laughs> you just landed, Goku. You're crazy. Ah, it's so pretty though. If you find the water, return to this exact spot and I'll pull you back up again. Oh. How long are your arms? You can do that? Well, see you later. <laughs> the days of impetuous youth. You're not toying. Not I'm old. Okay, you're not toying with this, are you, kitty cat? Yajirobi! I got some fudge! Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. The lid was off, Corin. Did you not realize? The lid was on and Yajirobi took it off. <laughs> oh, God. What should be that Yajirobi's the one that finds the water? I didn't have a choice. Did you fall in by mistake? You could say that. See ya. <laughs> I'm going back up. You can't just go back up, though. Uh, wait up. It's too cold in here. If I stay much longer, I'll turn into an ice cube. <laughs> but also, to get out was back that way. That could be an issue, actually. He's like, you need to come back to this exact spot, and I'll pull you up. But they said finding the way out is, like, impossible. What? Uh? Are you sure we're going the right way? It was. It was there, round the corner. Someone and... sure picked a funny place for a monument. Oh, God. That's it. They're trapped. That's strange. What's strange is I don't remember passing these on the way in. Are you sure you know where we're headed? This is like Silent Hill all over again. You're going to walk that way, and it's going to change, and you'll turn back, and the wall is stuck, and... Huh? 
Who's that? Who's story, but if we stick around here, we're gonna end up like him. Right. Let's go. Yay! We're together again on a mission again. I love these two together. Huh? Huh? What? What? It's now melting? What is going on here? Just run, guys! It's hot under there. Or it's windy under there. This is where I start to question the world of Dragon Ball. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe we should just leave it alone, because I don't know. One minute I'm concerned. Oh no, we're never going to get our characters back. And then suddenly we jump through a pot into an icy area. And there's big ice monsters coming after us. I don't bloody know anymore. It's a, yeah, an ice monster. It's gonna just blow you miles away. Just get going. Uh oh. Why do you fight us? Maybe this is his home. You guys have invaded. Do you know what? We could come maya maya wave it. Oh no, we're gonna end up just like him. You need to keep moving. Some ice cubes. Yes! Go, Yajirobe! You're gonna be sorry you messed with Yajirobe! This better not break his sword. <laughs> nice! Yes! See, this is what I'm talking about! He's so cool! No. That's just impossible. What? No. Nah. Start running at this point. This is just stupid. Like, there's plenty of other places we can go. <laughs> Take that. Are you just gonna stand back up again? He's like the snowman. Well, he's the ice man. I got it. Yeah. Told you! That's always my go-to! Ha! It just gets me excited every time. You just need to blow him to bits. You can't leave a trace. Easy. See, I told you guys. Oh? Who dares wake me from my cold slumber? Oh, shoot! There's no one down here. It will suffer. They will all suffer who trespass on my domain. Well, I didn't want to come down here. I was kind of forced. Ooh, who could it be? <laughs> Shut up! Goodbye. Oh, now you run! Whoa, his head is spinning. <laughs> oh! Is that the beans? I can't leave them. Come on! Just grab a couple and go! Jesus! I'm sure we won't be down here that long anyway. You don't need that many. I love that Goku's just sitting on him like he's the sledge. <laughs> I mean, there's no stopping this. You just gotta ride it out. Gotta have those little spikes at the bottom. Whee! <laughs> oh! Oh! My god! We are going so far in this place that we're never gonna get out of here. Whoa! How- oh, the darkness. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Ending up in the darkness. Grandma? Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. I never expected kindness from a stranger. 
Your help makes the end bearable. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> yes, there is hope. I see it in your eyes. You be careful. I know you're angry. Uh oh. Don't you? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do not be a hero. Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. Then eliminate them all. Things taste better from scratch. Don't. Oh. What are you? You can't! It won't do anything! Snow! What is she doing? Imagine she was the one that took him out. <laughs> Don't do it. He will kill you! Like, don't take the shot. Oh, thank God. Huh? <gasps> no! No, 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 no! <clears throat> what a moron. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's a child. Interesting. He shot that straight through her though. Did he intentionally miss her or does she have some crazy power? <sighs> Come on, Tien, you've got this. He has to, he's the only one. Everyone is so scattered right now, it's insane. Wake up, Yajirobe. Come on, wake up, wake up, y'all, Jerobi, get up! Ah! Uh, shift him out the way, Goku! <laughs> what? Why didn't you move him out the way? Wow, that was great. We escaped the snow beast thanks to you. I can't believe he just let him get impaled in the face. Would you be quiet? What are you thanking me for? It wasn't like I had a choice. Is there a sign on me that says passengers welcome? <laughs> Humans have disturbed my slumber. They trespass at their own peril. Sorry you feel bad, but thanks. I, I love it. I love it so much that like Goku's still all like very calm. And there's some really creepy thing down there. Okay, then we'll head for the water. No way. I'm going to find my way home, and that's that. Wait, no, no, no. You might as well get the water and then go home. Like, we want to go home eventually, so just help us. It's time we call upon our visitor. I want to know who this is so bad. Yes, sir. Huh? What the fuck? What? Has Master Roshi returned? What other sensational mysteries lurk in the darkness? And what peril will they bring Goku uh, and Yajirobe? I don't understand what is happening! I don't understand! What? What is happening? I don't understand. I don't get it. What? <laughs> um, he died. He's in, he's in a capsule. His body is in a capsule right now. I, 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 so how is he down there? Is this because of Corrin? Did Corrin do something? You know, I don't, I don't understand. And annoyingly, this is the last video I'm filming for the day. And I have to wait till tomorrow. Why? I'm confused. I think it's something to do with Corin, or it's nothing to do with Corin. And cause Roshi is dead, this thing in the darkness is taking a dead soul. And because Goku is connected to Roshi, it's gonna use him in some way. Is that a weird storyline? I, I don't know. I don't know what, where my head is at. What? But he's dead. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, that is surprising. And even more surprising that Piccolo didn't just zap Sano, which I'm glad that he didn't. I actually half expected he would fire at her and then Android 8 would be like, no, do you know what I mean? He'd like stand in front of her and be like, no, or whatever. The ultimate sacrifice. Um, so I'm glad that didn't happen, <laughs> to be honest with you. 
Okie dokies. That is the end of today's episode, you guys. And I'm just so like shocked. I'm so shocked. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I'll see you all tomorrow for some more Dragon Ball. Bye bye.